What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to assemble one battery using my newest design and kit. Let's begin. When you get the kit over the mail, you're going to have a couple of pieces. Two of them are going to be the spacers that you see here. The rest of them are the placeholder for the nuts and you're going to use them to assemble the battery kit. For the first step, we are going to take each nut and place them in little holes that these specific tools or pieces they have. They have the same shape of the nut, so it's going to be easy for you to assemble it. And once you're done, you're going to take all the pieces in front you make sure that every single space is filled with a nut and we are going to proceed with uh, placing the boss bar with the aluminum plates that comes with the kit. And to assemble the kit, it's pretty much straightforward. We're going to take, in this case, the black uh, part of the kit, and we're going to place the boss bar starting from the far left, our left. And we are going to place the boss bar having a that little piece that is sticking out, it needs to be pointed outwards, not to you, but in front of you. And then you place a spacer on top of it and make sure to align the holes for the screws. So now we're going to start putting the screws in every single hole of the spacer. Just do a little light turn because we're going to tighten them later. So you're going to take a special design terminal that comes with the 7S kit. We made it like this because first it's going for the negative side and second it has those two cutouts because on the final assembly you're going to pass two long screws through it. And we did that to avoid any shorts. Once you're done placing every single screw on the spacer, you can take a power tool like this one to do the final adjustment. Just make sure it is on the weakest setting or you are going to risk breaking the spacer. So once you're done with this side, make sure everything is okay, that nothing is weak or loose. Make sure every single screw is tight and put it aside and get ready to assemble the next spacer. Now, this particular side needs to be exactly the contrary of the other one. The boss bar now are going to be pointing towards you and you're going to leave an empty space starting from the far left. Please be careful with this. You need to make sure that this is like that or you are going to reach to short the battery when you're doing the assembly. Once you're done with the boss bar, take the terminal and place it on the far left of the spacer. This is going to be used for the positive side of the battery kit. And just as you did before, just give it a light turn. So you're going to take the spacer, the first spacer that you assemble. Um, make sure that the terminal, the terminal that has a special design, it's going to be facing to your right. And the little tabs that are sticking out of the spacer, those are for the BMS. They need to be uh, facing front. You're going to take a battery on the first row starting from the left. And every single battery in that row needs to be facing up. The positive side needs to be facing up. On the second row, every single battery, the negative side needs to be facing up. This is why I told you that you need to make sure that the boss part placement is done correctly because these modules are being built by building series. You're not building parallel blocks, you're building a series battery of 7S and 4P. Now that you have all your batteries assembled, make sure they look just the way you see on the picture. And the terminal for the negative side is facing to the right. Is going to be on the bottom and to the right. So this is going to be your positive side and the terminal needs to be facing left and all, every single tab 
that is going to be sticking out from both spacers, they need to be facing the same direction. If you turn that away, it's going to short the battery, so please be careful. A little trick that I do to help me with the assembly is I take a few pieces of plastic and what I do, I place them in between the cells, making a little grid, and this is going to help me do the assembly faster. Every single battery kit comes with long screws to do the final adjustment. And what I do is I place them in little holes that are on top of the spacers. Uh, I put all of them just at once and make sure that I do the tightening easier later. The last two screws that I have, I'm going to leave them for last um, because it's going to be easier for me. So just make sure you push down every single screw and they are sticking all the way through the battery. Every kit comes with a little helper and you can use that to place the nuts on top of it and that's how you pre-assemble the screws. So you take the special tool, you put a knot on it and one thing that you can do is take the, the pack and put it on the edge of the table and take the special tool, put it underneath and with the screwdriver just do a little light turn. This is going to help you uh, tighten a little bit the cells so they don't break apart while doing the final assembly. So once you're done uh, pre-adjusting the nuts underneath the battery, as you can see on the, in the screen, you are going to place your battery with the bus bar tabs uh, facing up. Make sure everything is okay, everything is correct. Then you're going to take a I think it's an 8 millimeter cup and you're going to use that with a screwdriver to adjust the, the battery. Please make sure you're not over tightening the screws because you're going to risk damaging the cells or damaging the kit. So just do a, a fairly strong but not that strong. What you don't want is for the batteries to come loose with, I don't know, any type of vibration or anything. Then we're going to place the final one. As you can see, this is where it makes sense to have a cutout on the terminal because it means that you're not going to short the battery. And just as you did with the first screws, you put a knot on it and, you know, do the final assembly with it. Once you're done, you can take the whole pack and just shake it a little bit and see if there's nothing making weird sound. If it does, it means that there's something loose. And if you can move a battery with your finger, it means that it's not super tight. So just go around the whole battery and just give it a, a, the final adjustment and make sure everything's strong but not too strong. So this is a 7S battery and you check the voltage to make sure that it, everything is connected the way it's supposed to. And if you get a voltage over 20, 21, it means that you are okay. These cells were cheap over airmail, so they're actually low on voltage. So there you go, guys. It's a very simple way to assemble a battery. And I wanted to make some clarification is that we are not using fuses because when, when you have four batteries in, in, in parallel, the and you short them like technically when you short three batteries or two batteries the amount of volt the voltage drops it's so big that it doesn't produce enough energy or heat to break up any fuses so that's why we're not putting fuses directly or cell level the industry or, or the standard of the industry is that when you have anything below nine uh, cells in parallel you don't need fuses in future video, we're going to show you how to uh, get more batteries like this one in parallel and then add fuses. So when we have this for the BMS and also for the fuse connections. And as you can see, this is an easy way to assemble batteries. You can use it either for power walls or for your electric uh, vehicles. 
Right, let me just show you very quickly. So that's how easy you can assemble a big pack. That's a seven kilowatt battery that we have. Uh, and this is actually part of that module. This is the, the 14S. And the only difference is that when you assemble the 14S, you still start from left to, to right. This is actually facing you. But we use a special link that it just looks like this one. And the only difference is that instead of having a special boss bar design like you saw, you can actually have your main positive, your main negative, and then you have your link in between. So when you assemble this, it's a little bit different because you need to make one whole side uh, together and two separate sides. So uh, just remember, we're going to get through this. So staying home, stay safe, wash your hands. And don't ever forget that Jesus Christ loved you and he got this. He got this. So take care of your family, staying home, and never forget that after all this happens, it's all everyone has to be back to work and make Puerto Rico and the whole world better. I love you all. Take care. See you later. Bye.